What's up guys, I'm Michael again from Amazon 305 and today I'm gonna talk about ads on mobile phones. Now, ads in theory are supposed to work fantastic, right? I mean, the content creator gets paid for what he does and you, the user or the viewer, get offers that you want to see. Now, that is in theory, but in reality, everyone hates ads because they are slow, they slow down the network, they fill up your catch, they track you, they load a ton of stuff that you don't want there, and they're just terrible. Now on desktops, you can of course install like third-party blocker, ad blockers, like for example, ad block on Firefox, on Chrome, on just about any other browser out there. But on mobile phones, there hasn't been a way to do this. There are of course some apps in the App Store that offer you a no ad experience. For example, like Atomic Web Browser, I'm pretty sure you can configure that to block the ads. But the thing about ads is an Apple device in general is that Apple made the iPhone or any just about any iDevice in such a way that every single thing that you click on will open in Safari. If let's say someone tweet me a link or something, it will open in Safari. If someone, let for example, um, comments on my video and I want to reply to that comment or talk about that comment, it will immediately open in Safari. So Safari is the default browser on any i device. There's no way you can open it in Atomic Web Browser. There's no way you can open it in Dolphin Browser. Well now there's a way to block ads even on the Safari and it uses the very very traditional method of ad block. So if most of you guys, if not all of you, I've already known about AdBlock because you use it on your desktop. It's a great little tool to help you just block ads and get rid of them. So no more pop-up, no more those crappy ads that take up half the screen at real estate. Just the content that you want to see. And two days ago, about two or three days ago, they released a new iPhone app that is so brand new that no one has ever heard of before. And it's called AdBlock. This is available on the, ad, on the App Store and you don't have to jailbreak your device, you don't have to root it, nothing. You don't even have to have Cydia on your device. All you gotta do is download it from the App Store. Now, AdBlock is a stupidly simple app. And I say that in such a way because all you gotta do is three steps and then you're done with it. For 99 cents that you're gonna pay for the app, you're, what you're basically gonna, what you're basically paying for is a proxy server. So here's how usually it works. The device sends a request to the website and the, and the proxy, the very first one, drag it down right to your device. So it sends the information to your device. Now what AppLock is doing is the, when you send the when you send a request over, it puts the information before sending it down right down to your device through another filter. And what this filter basically does is that it cancels out all the ads off the page that you're gonna view before pulling it down. Now there's a downside to this, and yes, there is a downside. And the downside is that it is actually slower. If you're on an ultra fast network, you'll notice a bit difference because he has to go through two proxy server instead of the normal one. But uh, other than that, you have got the option, of course, once you open AdBlock to either block out both adult material, which is basically pornography, or ads only. Now, if you want to block out adult material, that is a little sketchy because it allows AdBlock to decide what is actually adult material and what is not and sometimes when you're gonna view something that is not but so something that adblock already identified that it is p something that got to do with porn it just blocks it and you cannot um, access it so what I do suggest is that you do not check the adult material one and you just check the block ad so very simple you scroll down and you see where in the world are you most of you will probably be in the America region, but for me, I'm in the Asia, so I checked Asia. Now, going on, you have 
a few instructions and here you have got your serial numbers this serial numbers is specific to your device and no other device the moment you install it on yours can use the same serial number so that is great for those of you who is planning to steal the serial number from me because you can actually use it from there what you're gonna do is go to settings here you have got your Wi-Fi network just wait for it to load and here usually it will be once you open it it will be in this little page you have forget network the three options and a bunch of other options in the bottom you're gonna go to go to boot IP and usually yours would be turned off and now let's go ahead and turn it on and here you have got a bunch of little options that you get now you're just gonna copy and paste what you see from the app all the way here for me this is a little tedious it's a little annoying because the app usually just closes the moment it doesn't even offer multitasking or app switching which was introduced long time ago in iOS 4 by Apple so you're gonna copy and paste one by one into the field so for server you've got one for proc for port you've got one authentication you have to turn it on and then just fill in the username you do not have to copy this one by one just go ahead and hold it and then hit copy and then you're good to go so once you're there you can go ahead and open safari and you can refresh and there will be no ads techno buffalo used to have a bunch of ads and that's the thing about ads you know as much as I love ad, no, as much as I love Techno Buffalo, as much as I love reading them, the ads just take up far too much space for my liking. On the desktop, I would don't really mind because I have a full 21 inch to look at. But on the phone, I only have 3.5 inches and if the ads are gonna take up like 30% of the screen real estate, then that is not very desirable. So this has just been a small little tutorial and hopefully it helped you to get rid of the annoying apps that you are forced to see and forced to live with on a mobile device. I'm Michael Young from Reason305. If you are interested in my content, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.